Right, I've just got a quick tip for you here. I just thought I'd throw this up. Um, it might not be any help, might not be at all, but I just thought I'd whack the bugger up and let you uh, see what you thought. Now, yesterday we had some visitors round our place and they were ringing on the doorbell and knocking on the door and they cut back his ear. And uh, they nearly buggered off and left us because, you know, we were out the back. And uh, we got one of these uh, doorbells where it's like a remote control door presser thing. You know, you, you press it. And uh, to cut a long story short, I won't digress. Um, I bought a new battery for, for, for the, the, the thing that you press in that's on the outside of the door. And uh, it's not got a wire to the to the bell. It's just uh, a remote thing. Don't know what it does, but it electronically sends a signal to your, your doorbell and it rings that one. Well, any road up, uh, I thought right, I won't get a new battery because you know when I was doing me um, me uh, me went for me mask to Wix uh, for me screen thing. I won't digress. I went and got a little battery for it, a tiny little battery like that, and I whacked it in the thingy, in the in the button, and I, I pressed it, and bugger all that, and I thought, shit, you know, the bloody thing's not working. Now, this electronic sender, or whatever it was, um, you know, I was thinking to myself, well, me, me alarm thing is that, you know, because the plug into the, the plugs, the alarms, the, the bell chime things, they were quite expensive, about 40 or 50 quid, and I only bought them about a few months ago. And I should imagine that the, 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 the buzzer, th the, the thing that you're pressing, ties in with these these things I've got, you know, my bells. So I thought, oh, shit, I've got to buy a new set. So I, I, I watched Technomone, uh, I think it's called Te Technomone, on, on YouTube, and he'd got an old-fashioned uh, Apple computer that, that wouldn't work, and he'd read somewhere or seen it on YouTube that if you pour it in water, soapy water, and, and wash the thing, well, let it soak, and then let it dry off so it's bone dry, um, it, it can get it to work again. Well, I took the back off this little bloody button that you press the doorbell thing and it's like a little transistor radio inside you know with all the not valves don't have valves but like little transistors transistors and whatnot resistors so it's a proper little circuit so i took the battery out and i unscrewed everything and i just got like the the board with the bits and bobs on you know your, your resistors and your, your whatnots and I thought, shit a bus, because I've got bugger all to lose, because I'm going to have to buy a new one. So what I did, I got a, I got a cup, filled it with, uh, not red hot water, but warm water, and a squirt of fairy liquid, right? And I let it soak, I, I just left it, I left it overnight. And then I took my transistor panel thing out, out of the water the next day, the water was bloody cold by this time, wrapped it in... Um, uh, kitchen roll and whacked it on the radiator just to dry it out and then bugger me I've, I've just fitted it back into the uh, into the uh, the switch thing the, the the button thing you know screwed it back in and the bloody thing works now I just thought I'd pass this information on I know you might not be bothered about a bloody doorbell but I wondered if it would work for any other types of things you know if you've got something on your motorbike like little senders or whatever they're bloody called if they're knackered and obviously, you know, you're going to have to buy a new one anyway. It's worth a try. Just try that, see if it works. Any road up, there's my little tidbit to uh, my fellow vloggers for today. Uh, it's up to you if you try it. I mean, don't blame me. Don't come crying to me if it don't work. And you say, Jim, I bollocks me. You know, I'm not saying put a bloody car battery in a road like that. But, you know, the little circuit things, it's worth a try. Any road up, ride safe. Bye.